Gaffer, three points, three straight wins. How do you sum that one up? Uh, delighted with the players. Uh, I thought it was a, a really good performance. Um, two different sort of performances. I think the first hour, 65 minutes, I thought some of the football we played was, was superb. And um, then the last 20, 25 minutes, we showed the, the defensive organisation and the, and the structure and the discipline to um, and see through to the final whistle to take the three points. So um, really pleased because, you know, going 1 0 down at, at Valley Parade has been difficult for us in the past, but the players have shown um, the right mindset, the right um, sort of uh, body language to make sure that we're we're still positive, we're still on the front foot, we're still um, trying to create and uh, the players got what they deserve today and that was three points and it was a, a really strong three points day. You've talked about the mindset needed to be a consistent team, so to go 1-0 down so early on after having the ball in the back of the net, yeah. to come back and score two goals like we did in the first half really shows that we've probably been embracing that mindset and really kicking on now. Yeah, I, th I think... Um, I think the first half was probably the best we played this season, I, I, and the, yeah, the disappointment of getting a goal scratched off um, was, you know, obviously disappointing. But then going a goal down uh, not long after, out, out of not much against us really, um, it could have knocked stuff out of us. And I think we've reacted differently in in the past. Um, but I think the players are understanding that the game's about ninety five minutes and. Uh, bad things will happen all the time in games, uh, but it's about how you react to those things. And I think our reaction to disappointment at the moment is is excellent, and we have to maintain that. But we have to keep encouraging each other, keep supporting each other, keep reminding. Um, and I think it, I think it drifts into the stands as well. I think the, the supporters were magnificent with us today. But I think looking at the team when we're one 0 down, looking at how they carried on performing, I think it, it brings the, the crowd back into the game, and and uh, and we need each other. Neil Byrne, bit of an interesting time for him, out with injury, back into the side, played really well, yeah. then was out through illness. To come back and score quite a, bit, a vital goal today yeah. shows real character from him as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, we, we, we were obviously disappointed last week, even though we, we, we cracked on with another win. Um, but he played so well against Newport and made a big difference to us. So, um, But the players played great last week without him. But um, you know, we, we wanted to bring him back in because we think, you know, um, we want to um, have a consistency of performers, and, and uh, he did. He gave us that at the start of the season, and um, yeah, he's got on the end of a set piece, great little finish. You know, he's got across his man, and uh, good delivery. And, and it's uh, it's uh, it's important we got that equaliser at least in the first half to to sort of not allow Gilling to build up any any head of steam. Still undefeated here at the University of Bradford Stadium. Any great team that goes and achieves what they want to achieve at the start of the season kind of make the home ground a fortress. Yeah. How pleasing is it to see us correcting that maybe this season? Yeah, it's early days, um, but you know it goes, it follows on from the end of last season when we we won our last three, and um, you know we 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 sort of talked about the things that we face as a as a club at home, and you know with different things that opponents might do and stuff like that, and we just had to make sure we didn't lose our, our composure with it or get frustrated at the referee or the, the supporters or you know, a misplaced pass. We just had to keep our composure and, and just make sure the next action was the right one. And, and the players are, deserve great credit for being able to put that in place. And you can only do it when, when you see moments like you go one nil down. And uh, yeah, we want to we wanna win in front of our fans. We want to um, produce a venue that teams don't want to come to or don't look forward to coming to. And, and um, we're seeing teams change and do different things, which I think has happened in the past. But we managed to overcome those things at, at the moment. So, um, you know, long may it continue. We have to talk about she Jack Shepard. Where's he pulled that one from? Uh, I don't know, maybe an old video library of Zidane scoring in Champions League final. It was, uh, that's why I've just watched it again after the game. And it's unbelievable how, how he's moved his feet. I think the, the, um, Obviously, the set piece gets cleared a couple of times, I think, but our structure is really good around the box and we keep the pressure on. And then it's it's gone up in the end. Jack's, I think he stepped back five or six yards and, and just met it perfectly right in the top corner. It's, uh, oh, that one made me smile, to be fair. That was an unbelievable goal. And I'm, I'm glad it was the winner as well because, uh, listen, I wanted to score another to to give us that cushion, but it was a goal worthy of winning any game football. It was, um, it was fantastic. So he, he deserves it because he had one scratched off or nicked off him. And... Uh, yeah, but he was, yeah, listen, I think he's a threat at set pieces, but I didn't expect that, to be honest. We talked in the week about being better from corners, maybe and trying to really impose ourselves from set pieces. Mm. Andy Cook, obviously, is a huge threat from those as well. But to see two people not called Andy Cook scoring today must be really pleasing as well. Yeah, well, we, we believe we have uh, uh, good players to, to hit the areas we want to hit, you know, good delivery. And I think we've got players that they need to score. They, they have to have that intent. We know Jack, Jack's already shown that in, in a few games. Um, great for Burner to get off the 
off the um, off the mark. I think Czech can do it as well. And the other centre house we have at the club, um, yeah, and obviously the strikers on on second phase, but Cookie on first phase as well. So, you know, it's it's something that we we want to improve all aspects of how we play, and I think set pieces are very important in one game and uh, both in and out of possession. You know, defensively, I think we're we've been pretty good, um, but we want to add a few more goals to our tally. Finally, back on the road on Tuesday, and it was a great chance isn't it, to really kick on this uh, good run of form and keep it rolling. Yeah, we just want to take each game in isolation. I think it's important we do that, you know. I think, you know, because you know when you're trying to build momentum and you're just talking about momentum all the time. If if something goes wrong against you in one game, it's it's even more deflating. So we just want to take each game in its isolation and, and just keep um, churning out the results if we can. You know, it's English football is a it's a marathon. You know, you have to grind out over ten months and. Uh, you know, there's some games you're going to play well, some games you don't play well, but you've got to take something from them. And uh, but I've, I think we play well today to deserve that. And the, the players are going to have to do uh, all the right things over the weekend, which I expect them to do. And uh, we'll go down Cheltenham, uh, to Cheltenham and, and try and win the game again.